Hey, hey, my Sagittarius people, what's going on? I'm going to be doing a general reading for all of you Sagittarius tonight, okay? This will be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. Take what you can, leave the rest behind. I uh, hope everybody is doing well on this Saturday. I'm going to take a look into your past energies current energies, and future energies as well, okay? Also, all of my info is down below in that description box. I do offer personal readings. You can find the information about those on my website, and the link for that is down below, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got going on for Sagittarius. Now this is a general reading. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards first. And then I'll do uh, the tarot cards after, okay? Let's take a look and see what we've got going on for Sagittarius right now. Spirit messages for Sagittarius, please. Oh, you guys have a different card that I normally don't see because I usually get the <laughs> same ones i talk about this i swear like every reading i do 52 cards and the same cards come out let me get one more okay three of the same one does not belong it belongs it's just i usually don't get this one which excites me so pure spirit purification And then you have bear spirit. This comes out, as, as it seems like, for everybody these days. And bear spirit is about healing. So these two, for me, kind of go together. Uh, maybe there's things in your life being healed right now, things that you need to heal. Uh, the purification, to me, makes me think of, like, purging, uh, you know, getting rid of, toxic people in your life, getting rid of, I don't know, toxic traits, things that aren't healing for you, uh, which makes me feel like this purification and healing go hand in hand. And then you have Ancient Oak Spirit. This one is about strength, okay? Very similar to uh, Leo Energy. And Butterfly Spirit Transformation. One of my favorite cards, uh, you know, butterflies, they transform from a cocoon. Um, butterflies for me are very spiritual. Okay, so maybe you need strength because you're, you're going through a transformation. You're going through things that are, you know, purifying in your life for you um, so that you can heal. Okay, so all of these go very well together. So let's see what we get as far as your tarot cards. I do pre-shuffle, by the way, just to save some time. And I also kind of I meditate a little bit while I'm uh, pre-shuffling. Okay. Spirit messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages. Here we go. First card out, Sagittarius. Six of Cups. <laughs> that old Six of Cups in reverse. It's in reverse, so we'll see. Okay, messages for Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. What else? Sagittarius.
Hangman seems to be coming out a lot lately as well. So your overall energy, King of Cups, bottom of the deck, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, okay. So King of Cups, <clears throat> this one here is about your emotional stability, okay? Some of you may be coming into a place of being more emotionally stable, okay? Just in general, you know, uh, or with a specific situation, whatever the case may be. Now, your recent past, Six of Cups, Three of Swords in Reverse with Justice. Six of Cups um, frequently speaks of nostalgia, um, things from our past. Uh, it could be taking a look at childhood traumas, um, anything we experienced growing up. This can indicate children around you as well. Uh, the Six of Cups is in reverse here for your recent past, along with the Three of Swords in reverse. So, <clears throat> this feels a bit like you've been healing from either a past relationship issue or, or, or something that had to do with heartbreak. Because this Three of Swords here indicates some type of heartbreak uh, that you've gone through in the past. <clears throat> and then you have Justice. Now, Justice is about balance, okay? Um, you know, tipping the scale so that they're even, um, not one way or another. And it feels like with the cards that you have here, I feel like it's a balancing out of your emotions, okay? Because your overall energy is the King of Cups. Very emotional energy. So I feel like this is sort of a, it's been a purification time for you. Um, working through past hurts, past pain, um, balancing things out emotionally. I don't know if, <clears throat> I mean, it seems like you're, you are struggling with, with certain things. Right now, emotionally, I do see you walking away uh, from a situation, center of your reading for current energy, you have the Eight of Cups, okay? It's walking away from, from those emotional things that don't serve us. Uh, it's a very healing energy, water energy, okay? And, and this Eight of Cups, if you look closely, you'll see here, the moon is here and 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 here as well it's it's almost like you know that almost i'm gonna have to check that might be the sun as well um i take it as both only because if you're walking away from from a situation or something that you feel needs to be purged it's going to bring about more balance, okay? Emotional balance, you know, balance in general into your life. Um, you've got Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be maybe you've had harsh words with somebody. Maybe somebody's had harsh words with you. This is Queen of Swords, and she's in the reverse, okay? Um, that can be some kind of tell it like it is type of energy. But you've got the star card in reverse. All right, this is uh, something right now is it's, maybe you're going through the motions of doing it. You know you need to do this thing, but but it's not exactly making you the happiest to do it, okay? In your near future, I do see you getting over anxiety. It looks like you're gonna you're gonna gain some new perspective, okay? I've got the hangman here. This is about enlightenment perspective. Um, I feel like you're going to be working on building some new foundations, maybe making some new friends, getting rid of 
just a lot of anxiety that that I feel like you've had the, the past few months okay let me get my other deck here I'm gonna start in the center of your reading with this uh, eight of cups okay let's take a look at this one first this is in your current energy seven of Pentacles in reverse what else why else is this eight of cups here please Why is the Eight of Cups here? <clears throat> okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I f in the Sun card. Okay. Doing this is going to make you happy. Um, it might not always feel that way, <laughs> but it will. I, I feel like some of you have been, it's almost, it, it almost feels like you've been neglecting yourself, okay, in the past. Um, nurturing other people, nurturing other situations, um, <clears throat> doing everything for everybody else and not enough for yourself, okay? Um, some of you, <clears throat> excuse me some of you may even outwardly you know say that to somebody you know I'm, t I'm tired of doing everything I'm tired of you know doing everything for everybody else and and neglecting myself or by doing that you've you felt emotionally drained now some of you may be people pleasers where you feel you need to do these things okay or whatever reason can be a few reasons why people people please um but i feel like it's that's starting to turn around and you're kind of you are going through like this transformation type of energy where you're looking more at yourself okay as opposed to what can I do for everybody else? It's more like, what can I do for myself right now? Okay. So let's, and that might even be what this um, six of cups in reverse with the three of swords in reverse is about. It's almost like kind of taking a look at your, your past, your past relationships um, and ways that you've, handled them emotionally or you know in general kind of saying like wait a minute you know I, I I'm so worried about other people I'm I'm not focusing enough on my own well-being okay let's see why is the six of cups here ten of pentacles in reverse Okay. Six of Cups in reverse is being clarified by Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit, and the Devil. So for some of you, this could have to do with the past relationship or family dynamic. Um where you felt chained to to that particular situation or relationship or there was some codependency uh we've got the devil here which is capricorn energy but it it's about it's about an unhealthy dynamic somewhere okay whether it's internally or within a relationship or or it's the other person okay or a combination and then we have the hermit. So I, and this is um, Virgo energy. So I feel like a lot of you, this is kind of where you turn that corner and said, okay, I'm really going to take a look here to see what's going on inside. Okay. To see, see things more from my perspective to, to kind of silence, you know, my mind to kind of take a look at how I can, you know, balance myself out better emotionally. 
as well as in how I'm thinking. Okay, why is the Three of Swords here? Eight of Wands in reverse. So you, yeah, you quit putting energy into, yeah, that was, it's letting go of, it's letting go of pain. Uh, it's kind of turning a corner. It's almost like an acceptance of sorts. And then again, hangman twice here. Okay, so you have both the hermit and the hangman. Similar types of energy to me because both speak about gaining enlightenment, okay? Um, the hangman is more of... kind of seeing things from a different perspective or seeing things from a new perspective. While the hermit is more internal, uh, the hangman does have some external influence to it, okay? Let's take a look at justice. Why is the justice card here, please? Magician in reverse. Yeah, see, I feel like this was you trying to work on this balance because you were not, you know, this was creating instability for you, okay? Some of you struggled trying to manifest um, a feeling of security, a feeling of feeling more stable, uh, trying to achieve that balance, okay? Um, and some of you need to, needed to kind of take a break but but you struggled with that as well i feel like it could it, it almost feels like at the point where you you know gain some new perspective here with the hangman energy it may have put you in a more anxious state, okay? Kind of like you 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 switch from um, emotional heaviness to maybe more uh, mental anxiety, okay? Almost like a trade-off of sorts. Let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Current energy. Okay, four of wands in reverse. Seven of swords in reverse, king of swords. So now we have queen of swords and king of swords. Um, Yeah, it, it feels like your foundation, you know, your foundation is feeling a little shaky at times. Maybe still struggling with that anxiety, or actually, for some of you, struggling to exactly say what's on your mind, okay, to, to other people, okay? But you've got King of Swords, and this here is about mental clarity, all right? Very logical, um, not, not a lot of emotions involved here. It's just kind of trying to look at things logically from this new perspective um, that I think some of you gained back here when you kind of took that step back to get a better look at what exactly was going on. See, why is a star card here? Why is a star card here? The moon. Okay, so. So the star with the moon, that's that's more healing energy, okay? That's that's that is that transformation type of energy. Both are very healing cards. Um 
the moon is Pisces energy, star is Aquarius. Something still, something, you may have realized something about yourself or somebody else. Um, four cups in reverse. I feel like this four of cups in reverse is, is, is you. It, it's a letting go of the past. Okay. It's a letting go of a past situation. It's that healing energy that needs to take place. Okay. The moon is about, again, bringing things into balance. You've got the moon justice and the star. Um, some of you may still be struggling with that kind of like a releasing of emotions or releasing of energy okay um but the four of cups is in reverse so i feel like you're finally more you're getting to the point where you're more focused on the present as opposed to being focused on the past especially emotionally which is why your overall energy here is this king of cups Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here and the Future Energies? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Six of Swords. So yeah, you're moving away from the chaos. You're moving away from anxiety and you're kind of, it's almost like you're going into a, a warrior type of energy. See, here's that Nine of Wands, okay? That's courageously moving forward okay it is it is the strength here okay nine of wands is 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 strength for me um pushing forward it's that it's it's determination okay it's determination to keep going determination to kind of rid yourself from from both emotional and uh, mental conflict let me get one more on that one more please spirit on that King of Pentacles. And then that King of Pentacles, that's very grounded energy, very stable energy, okay? That's bringing you into the balance I was talking about before. Where you're not going to feel as off, I want to say, okay? Because, because it is that purification, the healing, yeah, it's like you're you're making you finally making up your mind to you know change how you do things emotionally. Oh gosh, here we go with all the <laughs> uh, not taking those. It's it's like deciding, okay, I'm gonna do things differently. I'm gonna get rid of these emotions that aren't serving me. There's no point to them going to get rid of this anxiety it's kind of like a total total purge okay three of pentacles six of pentacles yeah see it's about that balance why else clarify page of swords in reverse there may be some people you'll stop speaking to as you do this and eight of cups again second time for the eight of cups okay There may be people you leave behind when you go through this, you know, purging process, this clarification, all right? Because you've got the Eight of Cups here again. Um, and it almost feels that right now this is your, it's kind of your overall theme, okay? It's like leaving the past muck, past crap behind um so that you can move into this king of cups energy which is emotionally stable energy okay and if you have to leave situations or people behind to do that then that's what's going to happen okay now let's clarify the hangman over here here font what else is in here okay
yeah, it feels like you're making a commitment to yourself. Okay. Um, you're, you're gaining spiritual enlightenment, um, coming into your power. Now this is the emperor. So this is the card of, of, um, Aries, but it's still fire energy. And I feel like this is what's going on with a lot of you coming back into your own power, coming back into yourself. Okay. Um, Some of you may still struggle with feeling unstable. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Let me get one more. And then look, the star in the upright. Okay, so that's twice for the star card now. Yeah, so I mean, your your entire reading here, I do feel is a purification and a transformation. Okay, it's, it's a healing healing energy um it's a lot of acceptance a lot of getting rid of things that look in the bottom of the deck right now we got the king of cups again it, it's just you know like i said purging everything that isn't working for you things that no longer serve you okay things that are weighing you down bringing you down whatever the case may be um it's you're you're lightening your load okay maybe that's what i'll name this video <laughs> lightening the load okay so what advice do you have for sagittarius two of wands what other advice Six of Queen of Pentacles. Oh, almost lost those. What else? So uh, keep looking. Keep looking forward. Okay, Two of Wands. For some of you, this will involve more decisions, okay? Um, it, it might be a fight at times not to go back um, into mental conflict or emotional heaviness, but this is going to bring you into a much more stable type of energy okay queen of pentacles she's stable she's grounded um it's got a level head on her shoulders stable secure successful um <clears throat> and when i say you know stable i'm not just speaking of material things it's you know in, in your case it, it feels more like emotionally stable, mentally stable, um, feeling secure in yourself, feeling stable in yourself, okay? Um, relying more on yourself instead of other people. And like I said, getting rid of, getting rid of things that have just been no good for you, things that have been weighing you down, okay? So I hope this helped. For some of you Sagittarius if it did please feel free to leave a comment down below I would appreciate it if you hit that like button on your way out everybody have a great great night and enjoy the rest of your weekend take care bye bye